month and speaking of fun things to do in the summer, a favorite local amusement park may be reborn with a possible new owner. As we told you first last night with our partners from Buffalo Business First, a Chicago businessman could take over Fantasy Island to bring it back to life. Channel 2's Ron Plant says he's already shown he can do it. Last summer, Gene Staples addressed a COVID-impacted crowd for the grand reopening of his new property, lovingly restored Indiana Beach Amusement Park near Chicago. We didn't purchase this to make a fortune. We purchased this to save a park and reinvest in the park. Staples could bring that same intent to Fantasy Island, which sadly and suddenly was closed last year by Apex Park Management, which also sold Indiana Beach to Staples. He's flying in. We're going to meet on Friday. And... Uh, I know that I spoke with Store Capital this morning as well. They're the property owners, and they are going to uh, offer to make the park available for us to uh, take a walk around inside there if we, Mr. Staples desires. I know he toured the facility a couple of weeks ago, so he's pretty cognizant of the condition. It's pretty bad as some rides were scrapped by construction equipment tearing up the property. Still intact, the Silver Comet roller coaster, Ferris wheel, and water park. But with vandalism, Fantasy Island needs repairs and renovation. Still, Staples loves amusement parks, as he said last summer. It's something that you can share with your kids. They can share with their kids. They can say that uh, this is the same ride that I rode with my parents on when I was this big. And uh, that's what you get. And that's what Americana is, and that's why it's important to save it. To save it, Staples seeks incentives from the state in Erie County. He got a $3 million government loan in Indiana and just bought another amusement park, Clementon, in South Jersey near Philadelphia. We're told no applications have been filed by him yet, but still enthusiasm like riders on a roller coaster from State Assemblyman Angelo Morinello and especially Supervisor Whitney with potential sales tax revenue and visitor spinoff for other businesses and naturally nostalgia. It's a real important part of our community and uh, we, we definitely want to see a return. Ron Plants, Channel 2 News.